Probably the most common shell command that we run when we're inside the terminal is the CD command. The CD command, it stands for change directory. It is the command you use to change from one directory to the next. It's basically the command you use to navigate through the file system. Typically when you open a terminal, the first directory you're in is your user's home directory unless you've configured it for something else. Right now I'm in my user's home directory. I can verify this with pwd, which is the print working directory command. And you can see I am in slash home slash dt. I also have my shell prompt telling me what directory I'm in. It tells me I'm in tilde. The tilde is actually an alias for your home directory. So anytime I see tilde, I know that that is an alias for slash home slash DT. So right now I'm in my home directory. Let me navigate or change directory to a different directory. So if I do the LS command, I can see that I've got all these directories in my home directory. For example, my downloads directory. Maybe I want to CD to that. Well, let me CD space downloads and then hit enter. And now I am in my home directory slash downloads. Maybe I want to now CD somewhere else. I'll CD into slash var slash lib slash flatpak. Uh, it's a standard uh, directory on a Linux system if you have flatpak installed. So now I've gone from my home directory to my home slash downloads directory into slash var slash lib slash flatpak. Now what if I want to go back to my downloads directory. Well, we have a command for this, cd space dash always takes you back to the previous directory. So if I do that, I go back into the previous directory, which was my home directory, slash downloads. If I do cd dash again, it takes me back to slash var slash lib slash flatpak. And if I up arrow and keep doing that, I can keep toggling between these two directories with cd dash. If I want to go back home to my home directory, my user directory, I could do cd without any argument always takes you to whatever user you're logged in. It takes you to their home directory, or I could have specified the directory was, for example, cd slash home slash dt, or since the tilde character signifies slash home slash dt, I could do cd and the tilde character, and that also takes me home. If you want to go into the root file system, so the very top level directory on the file system, cd slash takes you to the root file system. One cool thing you can do if you're on a multi-user system, you got a bunch of different users on a system, you could CD and then the tilde character username to CD into the home directory of a particular user on the system. For example, CD tilde DT would take me back to DT's directory. The only other user I really have on this system is the root user. CD tilde root is not going to be allowed because the DT user does not have permission to go into slash root slash root, by the way, is the home directory for the root user on the system. Now let me show you this neat trick. So we have these aliases on the Linux file system. The period, the single dot, is this directory. So if I cd and then period, it does nothing. It's basically saying change directory to the directory I'm already in. But cd dot dot is the parent directory. It's one level up. So right now I'm in slash home slash dt. If I cd space dot dot, it takes me just into slash home. If I ls, you can see there's one subdirectory in slash home, and that is dt. Let me cd back into slash home slash dt. So let's imagine that I want to go two directory levels up. First, let's cd into a lower directory. So I'm going to cd into slash home slash dt slash downloads. That's the full path of this directory. If I want to go one level up, I could do cd dot dot to take me to the parent directory, which is back into my home directory. But if I do cd dot dot slash dot dot, that takes me two directories up to the, not the parent directory, but the grandparent directory. So that would take me all the way back into slash home, right? So that is really neat. And of course that works. You could keep adding dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash however many directory levels you need to go up. So that is extremely useful, but for me, I hate having to type all those dot dot slash dot dot slash. You know, I, I want to create shell aliases for this. So you can actually add aliases for all of this in your shell config, your bash RC if you use bash, zshrc if you use zsh, or your fish config if you use the fish shell. So let me go into my bash RC and I will show you an example of some of these aliases. 
So in my shell configs, I always add these aliases here. You can see I alias dot dot to be cd dot dot. That way I don't have to type as much, right? So dot dot is cd dot dot and dot 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 three dots in a row is actually the grandparent directory cd space dot dot slash dot dot. And then I do something interesting for going up three levels, four levels, five levels, etc. right? I do dot three is cd up three levels, dot four cd up four levels, dot five is cd up five levels. And let me show you this in action. So let me cd into something that's got a lot of directories, right? So I cd'd into slash var slash lib slash flatpack slash exports slash bin. So I'm in bin and I want to go up one level, two level, three levels, four levels. If I do dot four, that takes me all the way into slash var, assuming that's where I wanted to go, slash var. Now let me cd dash back into slash var lib flatpack exports bin. If I wanted to go up five levels all the way back to the root directory, dot five takes me all the way there. And that was the same as me doing cd slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot. So there you have it, some of the basics of the CDD command. If you want to learn more about CD, there's not much to it. I've shown you pretty much everything there is to CD. It's a very simple command, but if you want to learn more, read the man page, type man space CD in the terminal to read the manual.